from Dubai Internet City. This is the Business Breakfast on Dubai Eye on One. So, number of stories about funding, number of stories about IPO in the headlines there. Uh, they don't get much bigger, though, than our next guest, uh, because the Emerging Markets Property Group, which owns classified portals, Beirut and Bizzle, here in the UAE, has raised $200 million in funding uh, and will now focus on preparing for an initial IPO in the near future. We'll get details on all of that in just a few moments' time, not before we uh, welcome into the studio the CEO of Beirut and Dubizzle, the head of EMPG Mina, Haida Ali Khan. Haida, always good to catch up with you. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. Good morning. Uh, congratulations, first and foremost, uh, on the news. Uh, and congratulations on the funding, 200 million in funding. Give us a little idea where that funding's come from. Um, so, thank you. Um, so that funding has, um, you know, uh, so it's a round that was uh, led by Affinity, um, um, which is a uh, fund based out of the U.S., and then uh, also participation from existing investors, which includes Process um, and a few others. Um, how straightforward is funding at the moment? We talk a lot about how buoyant the city is and, you know, real estate's booming at the moment. Other markets are booming. Everyone wants to be a piece uh, of the UAP at the present. Is funding straightforward or is it challenging at present? Uh, I think we're in a very challenging environment. This year has been uh, difficult, uh, as you can see, you know, and, and I think uh, public markets are a good reflection of that, um, especially when you try to do funding of this size and magnitude. Uh, what's, what we've seen in this is um, a lot of the funds, um, you know, when, when you're writing the ticket sizes of this, uh, this, this magnitude, are, um, they have an option. They can invest in um, uh, new ventures or, or they can actually just go and invest in public markets, which are quite a bit cheaper now. Um, if you just look at the U.S. stock exchange, you know, a lot of the stocks are at a pretty good value now. So, uh, so that definitely makes the environment a lot more challenging. Um, but, uh, you know, thankfully we've been able to close this. Um, and I think this just talks a little bit about the excitement around the region itself. Uh, I think UAE um, is doing fantastically well. Um, and so that speaks volumes of, of uh, I think, how we've handled the situation over here. Uh, and, and future prospects. And Heide, where will these funds be deployed? Uh, so a large chunk of it uh, we have earmarked for deploying locally in the UAE um, and, uh, you know, further, uh, you know, uh, focusing on, on, on both Breathe and Divisal. I'm um, happy to share more details on that, uh, but, but really uh, putting our focus down into this market and, and uh, trying to bring a lot of good things uh, to the market uh, for the users. And in terms of sort of overall spend and uh, the, the sort of role or where that plays in the overall spend, where are we at? Um, so, look, uh, I think the, the, the you know, if, if we look at the funds that we raised, we're, you know, we, as I said, we've about half of them mm -hmm. we earmarked for here. Um, at least uh, now, now we do have a very thriving business over here. Uh, so that's, uh, um, uh, you know, so that's, that's, that's been going well. Um, in terms of the uh, kind of things that we want to bring uh, to the market, we've been trying a lot of things with the Bizzle. Uh, you know, we, we've been focusing on improving security. Um, uh, you can, as you're aware, you know, there's a lot of scams that take place. Uh, and so we're going to take that head on. Um, we have been taking that head on, um, you know, just now, about now, we're launching verified accounts. Uh, mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that users that are on the platform are verified um, so they can, you know, so, so people don't, uh, people actually know who they're dealing with. Um, and then we're also looking at providing these services where um, people, um, um, we actually facilitate uh, the, the transaction. Um, uh, you know, when two things happen, uh, when you buy and sell, uh, an item moves and then money moves. Um, so we're trying to make sure that we can do that in a safe and secure environment. Um, so it will have a trickle down, of, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Use trickle down effect, which has been taken uh, out of context. That phrase over in the UK at the moment, but it will have a trickle down effect on users here for both platforms. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's the intent, right? Um, um, we, we, we want to be well capitalized uh, as we go into these things because you have to build more infrastructure. Um, you know, the last couple of years uh, since. Uh, overseeing the Bizzle, uh, you know, first uh, order business was to get the teams together, um, and and we've been experimenting a lot uh, uh, in, in different verticals, uh, and and now it's time to put it in the next gear. I'm, well, I'm interested in the the frauds that you mentioned there, um, Haida. Do we see them going through clear trends as they become more sophisticated? Um, sorry, did you mean the users? Uh, the, no, when you talk about the frauds. Oh, the, so look, I think, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big marketplace, right? And it's very difficult to control 
what people are doing. Um, it's a very simple platform uh, in a lot of ways where people just go and list something and, and then anybody can contact them. And it's in that piece when you're, when you're contacted, uh, it's very difficult for a platform because you know, you're sharing your number or you have chat. Um, uh, as an example, uh, something we launched earlier this year was, was the option to take away listing your phone number. Um, so just force people to actually chat with you. And then once you establish some sort of, uh, you know, feeling of security around, uh, around who you're dealing with, uh, then, then you, can, you, can, you can agree or disagree to share numbers. Uh, but, but now we're looking at how can we even take it further, right? So when you have verified users, we really want to make sure that people um, cannot um, just essentially, uh, you know, try to try to protect them to make sure that they don't end up in these situations where somebody tries to take advantage of them. This round successfully closed. Sure. We're here now that attention turns to three little letters as well, IPO. How much can you tell us at this stage? Um, look, we, uh, so IPO is, if you just think about it, I mean, you know, so far we've been a private company and we've been raising funds pri privately. Yeah. And, and then when you go public, it's a public offering. I mean, that's, that's what it stands for. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that you have to do from kind of just getting ready for an IPO. And, and, and we've been focused on that, uh, making sure that, you know, uh, everything is in place. Um, um, and, um, and, and, you know, from a compliance angle internal, you know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done um, to make sure that uh, you can go and list. So we've been working at it. Uh, we'll be ready. Um, obviously, we have to observe the capital markets. Um, you know, they're somewhat suppressed right now uh, just due to what's happening around the world. Um, so as, as things recover, you know, we'd be, uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that and then uh, we're ready to go. Um, yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah. And can you give us an indication as to when you will be ready to go with that one? We're told in the near future. Yeah, look, I mean, I think internally we'll be ready, um, you know, um, in about six months time. Um, I think then we just kind of look and see and, and, and you know, where do we list? Um, how are things going? Uh, and so with the, I think that's a decision that we'll make um, uh, as we you know, get into the next year. So, yeah. How do you decide where to list and who's on the short list? Um, we are fairly geography agnostic. So I think um, at this point, um, you know, the, the goal is to kind of get ready internally um, uh, to be able to list anywhere. Um, so whether it's, uh, you know, listing in the U.S. or listing locally over here, um, you know, both of those are on the cards. So at this point, uh, we're not actually looking at make that call at this point, um, but we just want to make sure that we're ready internally. Could you join the UAE IPO lineup? Uh, anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. Yep. One thing we can guarantee is that once that decision is made, Haider, you can tell us all about it here on this show, that's for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, would, would love to come in over here in first and disclose it. Yep. <laughs> Listen, congratulations on that round of funding. Uh, well done to you and the team. Uh, hard work paying off yet again there. Haider Ali Khan is the CEO of Beot and Dubizzle, uh, the head of EMPG MENA here in the region. Thank you so much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh,